Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You guys have so much amazing feedback and I'm so happy to share all my projects with you. You all seem to really enjoy the last video, so let's jump into part two. For those who don't know, I release a video each week about my game, Submerged Below. Um, you can also check out my recent devlogs of that project. Now to start off the video, it was around the time I was finishing up Below, my endless runner game, that my friend Caleb asked me, hey, would you like to do a game development course with me? And I said yes. Caleb is an amazing artist, and it just so happened to be that there was a six month game design course which would merge artists and programmers. So we went in and smashed the course. I learned so much about programming in 3D. So our first major project was a 3D game. We had to make it in two weeks and every two weeks we would have to make a game after that. So our first game together was called Dex. It was about a crazy guy wielding a cannon that would pull enemies towards him and you must dodge them. The first prototype was cool and had lots of potential. Then Caleb went to work on 3D models and I went to work on programming. And 1.5 weeks later, we uploaded our final build to the teachers. Thanks to another programmer in our team, Mimia. She was helping me a lot at the time as it was an overwhelmingly big project. The teachers loved the project and we watched them play it over and over which wasn't part of the assessment, but Matthew Palage, who was our game design teacher at the time, he really enjoyed the game and always kept us motivated. I will link his YouTube in the description as he is to this day an inspiration to both me and Caleb. Check him out. Overall, me and Caleb and Mimia had tons of fun with this project and were so proud of what we had accomplished in two weeks. Now the next project we called Arrival and it was about crash landing on an alien planet. You wake up and find beacons around the map and kill packs of enemies. We did happen to run out of time, so we turned it into a wave-based game instead of an RPG. Now with the game, it was not your ordinary first-person experience, but it was our first time experiencing creating a first-person experience. You're a lot dumber than I thought. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm a lot dumber than you thought that I think that I thought I was once. Anyway, you have a special weapon which will use plants from the environment and can shoot different MOs depending on what plant is in the ammo canister. We did run out of time for this project, so we just stuck to one plant which would be a spike plant. It would shoot javelins at the enemies and impale into them. It looked and felt amazing. We also had tons of fun creating the map and drawing tons of concepts on the lore. I even made a tutorial when you first start the game. Not only did we have the gun, but if you right click we shoot a force out of the hand and that will knock back enemies in front of you. Now ragdoll was very fun to create. I learned so much doing my first ragdoll with the physics. I had to connect the enemy's joints and through code I made each rigid body react how I wanted it to and tweaking it looked really good. Our game was coming along really well but we needed a boss enemy. After completing a certain amount of waves, so pretty simple, we just enlarged an enemy. This was also Caleb's first time enemy and my first time putting 3D animations together and merging them with code. You would have noticed all of our UI is on the player. We had a long talk about how we should do UI without breaking the immersion. In Dead Space, the health in that game is amazing, so we recreated it in our own way. This project was very large and overall a fun learning experience. That would finish up my six month course. I recommend also learning at home with practice and research. For me, this was always and will always be the best way of learning. I did learn a lot from doing the course, but the best thing for me was meeting so many amazing people. Now the next game is one you all know and one that has been on my mind from the beginning. It is called Submerge Below and it is an open world underwater survival adventure game that I am creating. You can check out my devlogs for that game and I really hope you enjoy this part 2 video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Also leave me some feedback. I love reading every comment. You can check out my discord server where I have an amazing community. Also check out my patreon in the description if you would like to support my channel. Thank you so much for watching, see you all next time.